welcome back to our channel. It's Sarah here from We Are Twin Set. So for those of you that don't know, it's a bit of one set at the moment. Philippa is on maternity leave having her beautiful baby girl. We are waiting the news. So excited for you, Phils. So it's my second solo video. I took you shopping with me last week and today I thought I'd do a bit of a July favourites. So as you know, we get to try out lots of different products, obviously lots of different trends, kind of each month we get sent things from brands and obviously also buy things too. Um, so I wanted to take the time to show you some of my fave bits that I'm loving this month because I don't like to share too much about a new product until I've tried it for a while because I think otherwise it's a bit of an overload, but there's a few things that I've been using for a while now that I'm absolutely loving. So I wanted to share with you my beauty faves and also some of my fashion faves Probably these things you would have seen already, me shooting on the blog and a couple of things that I'm just wearing in like mum life that I thought would be cool to share. So today I'm going to share with you my favourite bits and I hope you like it. First up, I'm going to talk SPF. Now, I'm sure I'm not the first person to tell you that you need to wear an SPF every single day. It's so important for your skin. I personally am really fussy when it comes to SPF. I do have products that have SPF in, kind of like powders and uh, moisturizers, but I do, especially in the summer, like to use a product that's literally an F SPF by itself. Also, I find some of the ones I've tried in the past can be quite oily, can be quite greasy. Often you put them on and then your makeup slides off and I'm just not about that. I just want easy products that feel really, really good. And this is where this comes in. Super Goop SPF 50. Now, I got this in New York when I went a few months ago from Sephora and it's my favorite thing to do is to have like an hour look around in Sephora. I love seeing all the new bits. There has opened a Goop in Notting Hill now, which I'm yet to go into, but I just want to shout about this product. I'm sure you've seen it on Instagram and lots of people talk about it because it's the most amazing SPF. It's really, really light, it's factor 50, which is incredible because I really do think you should use 50 on your face. And it just glides on, it doesn't give that whitey kind of glaze over the top because often sometimes with an SPF, especially if you're taking photos and stuff, it can leave you with like a white film on your face. This just doesn't do that. I know you're obviously not gonna be able to see the consistency, but it's just really, really light. It dries instantly, it doesn't make me feel greasy, it doesn't make me feel sweaty would help if I didn't drop the lid um, and it doesn't kind of get oily th throughout the rest of the day because sometimes I found with SPFs wearing that extra layer on your skin your makeup just by the end of the day just looks kind of crusty but this is just absolutely perfect I'm going to double check the price I can't remember um, but it definitely wasn't crazy money and it's your face it's your skin so I really do think you should invest in an SPF and this one 10 out of 10 I've been using it since May and I absolutely love it Number two, you aren't going to be surprised that it's Charlotte Tilbury related because it, I feel like every single favourites video we do, there's some Charlotte Tilbury in there and it's just because we absolutely love the brand. So, I don't know whether you guys have seen, she launched the Hot Lips 2 collection, which is just an amazing collection of lipsticks and obviously there's some, some insane nudes in there. So, how cute is this packaging? It comes quite different to her other lipsticks actually. Slide that off like that. Da -da -da -da. And that is how it looks with this gorgeous black design on it. So it's really, really cute. Look at this color. This is the best nude. It's like slightly peachy tinged. Um, I'm wearing it now, but I'm gonna put a bit more on for you to see. Oh, I actually just ate. <laughs> Take two. It's really hard to do without a mirror. Hopefully that looks acceptable. So it's called In Love with Olivia and it's based on Olivia Palermo, who is no secret that Philippa and I absolutely love. So I just knew I was gonna love this color. I love the way that the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are. They go on really easily, they stay on. And we've been harping on about the pillow talk, both the lip liner and the lipstick for months now. You guys know when you always ask us what our favorite lipstick is, it's always a Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. However, I'm gonna say that this I'm loving this and I think I might be loving it a bit more. It feels a bit lighter, a bit springier, but still the same texture the way it glides on. But I absolutely love the color and since I've got it, and this is always a sure tell sign for me, if I get something and I use it thereafter just every single day, I know it's a product that I really, really love. And I've got to say, I have been doing that with this. So check out the collection. There's some other gorgeous nudes as well. There's an Alessandra Ambrosia one and there's, I think a Jennifer Lopez one. 
um, but this is the one that I'm loving and of course as always I'm going to link all these products below in the description box um, but yeah check it out okay number three is another beauty favorite and this is a really really new product for me and this is a product that I haven't changed I haven't I've been loyal to, to my previous brand I think for about 15 years and that is liquid eyeliner I have worn the Rimmel liquid eyeliner which I do still love for about 15 years however I was sent this Ico Fat Liquid Liner in black in the L Beauty box, and I always love their recommendations. They've got such great stuff, brands I haven't heard of before, and just the most incredible edit. So I thought, you know what? It would be rude not to try this eyeliner. Now, I'm a convert. I literally am a convert. It's a felt tip pen, so it's super, super easy because for those that know me, I have really shaky hands. So all those fine, you know, thin, eyeliners I, I just can't get to grips with because the eyeliner ends up all over the show so this is like idiot proof not in a horrible way but, but in a good way for myself because you cannot make a mistake you can't be wobbly with it I filmed putting on my eyeliner this morning so I'm going to add it in the corner for you guys to see how super easy it is it's just a classic black and it just helps you be able to draw that line with a flick so with the thin with the really thin nibs I just find you've got to keep going over it to get a bit of oomph and then you kind of make one mistake and then you go over that again. Whereas this, it's almost like you can do it in one step, which I think is incredible. And it lasts all day. I do sometimes find, and I know Philippa is the same, that your eyeliner liquid in the, kind of towards the end of the day, cracks in the corner. And like I said, it's new, but I've been trying it, I think for about 10 days now. Um, I haven't had that. It just stays put. It looks exactly the same as you would imagine, like a, like one of those fine nibs looks, and it's just so, so, so easy to put on, and I'm really time-starved in the morning, so I'm all about the ease, and this has really blown me away. So if you fancy a liquid eyeliner that's super easy, I can't recommend this one enough. My next one is an ode to a brand that I'm obsessed with. I keep saying that today, but we've, as you know, we've got brands that we love, and it's good to stay true to those. So Cowshed, I love Cowshed. I love the products, I love the place. My ultimate treat is, is a pedicure at Cowshed. And I actually went there on Sunday and it was so dreamy. Um, but I love the products, I love the body moisturizers, the hand washes, and I always have them kind of in my toilets. Um, but I don't know whether you've seen, they have relaunched their packaging. So gone are the grumpy cow and all those kind of tongue in cheek names. And they've got these chic kind of black and white designs which I actually do really like because sometimes it's nice to have a bit of a refresh and it kind of gets you to stop and look and think. The products are still exactly the same, it's just the packaging. Um, so I've got here the hand cream, the refresh hand cream and the Restore exfoliating hand wash. And I love the way they look together. I'm actually about to do some huge, big home improvements. So I'm doing my, redoing my kitchen, my downstairs toilet, etc. So these, I'm saving them. Is that quite sad? But I'm saving them for my new downstairs toilet when I get my gorgeous tiles and everything new and fresh because they're going to go perfectly. Right, so number five in my health and beauty favourites is this water bottle. Now, quite random to talk about water bottle, I know, but just go with me on this. So it's by a brand called Hala Crystals and they got in contact on Instagram and I actually love finding new brands, different brands that I wouldn't necessarily be able to come across in my everyday life. So this is, like I said, called Hala and it's a glass water bottle and it's got a crystal inside so you can choose your own crystals. This crystal is energized so hopefully as I drink it throughout the day it makes me feel energized and balanced and zen and we all need a bit of that and they have different types of crystals and um, there's some balancing ones some nourishing ones I think there's six or seven um, and it's just a really great product I definitely think having a water bottle like this makes me a bit more mindful to drink water because sometimes I'm really 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 bad if you get to five o'clock and I've literally had a sip of water so by carrying this around it is slightly heavier because it's glass but it does make me drink more and also I feel like oh I'm giving myself energy as I go um it's really gorgeous looking it's it's an investment it's 50 pounds but then you only buy one and you're stopping using those plastic bottles which we all need to be a bit more careful of. So it's a bit different and I want to share it with you guys because I've genuinely been using it and loving it and I always like to share these different things I find. So that was my beauty favourites and I thought I'd talk about five fashion favourites, both clothes and accessories that I'm loving at the moment that you've, like I said, you might have seen on my Instagram 
or that I'm yet to shoot. So following on from the Hala Crystals and talking about different brands that you find through Instagram and stuff like that, I wanna talk about this raffia bag trend that is so, so huge right now. You've seen in all our pictures, we absolutely love a raffia bag. We've got our names on them, we've got ones with shells on, we've got mini ones, we've got bigger ones, and we always get so many questions about it, and they are so, so, so easy to wear. So I'm gonna share with you two of my favorite ones that are from small brands that I found on Instagram that have got in contact. So first up is this personalized one from Nell and Digby. Now you've seen how much we've used this already. We only got it a couple of weeks ago. It's the most incredible size. You can fit a laptop in, which is super handy because I'm always finding like myself with a canvas bag, but it's nice to have something quite chic. It would be great for the beach and you definitely could pack it in your suitcase. I would just fill it with loads of stuff and pop it at the bottom. And I just love that it's personalized. You know, we love anything personalized. I mean, I must have like 10, 15 things, little clutches and diaries and whatever with initials and names on but nothing, I actually haven't got anything like this with my name on. So this was a really lovely gift from Nell and Digby and I know I'm gonna use it loads in the summer. It's just really, really handy. I love it with the black writing, kind of gives it that edge and it just goes with anything. These are 50 pounds, which I think is an incredible price for something like this. So this is my first straw bag that I'm loving. And on the personalized note, I also want to show you this one that I got in the post yesterday from a brand that's on Etsy called Sun and Day. I had some personalized sandals last summer from them. They were kind of like a raffia slide with my initials on. Um, and she got in contact asking if I'd like one of these straw bags. So I obviously jumped at the chance. You can have it with one initial on or two initials and it's quite a mini size, so I could probably use this more in the evening or just for going out, but equally with a flowy summer dress, it would look so lovely as well. I went for the one initial because I felt like two for me might be a bit much, but again, the price point is so amazing, it's 32 pounds. And I don't know whether you saw, I shot recently a shell bag from And Other Stories, and that was just similar shape with kind of shells dotted over, and that I think was slightly more expensive. So you're getting something personalized that is even cheaper. So I think that's really great. And like we said, I love supporting those smaller brands. So check out Sun and Day. They've got some other great kind of sandals and bags. They do clutch bags as well. So that's my second Raffi bag that I'm loving. So fashion favorite number two is a dress, obviously, because it's really clear that I genuinely cannot put on anything else at the moment apart from dresses. Even on the weekend, even when I'm trying to be super casual and I can't be bothered, I literally only feel comfortable in dresses. I think it's the heat and just, I feel so free in a dress. You just throw it on with a pair of Havianas or something and you're good to go. So, obviously I'm gonna talk a couple of dresses within this bit. First up, this Suzanne one. I'm gonna try it on so you can see how it is on. But it's this kind of lacy, petally fabric with the most amazing scallops ties at the shoulder. So you can tie it how you want. Um, I shot it a few weeks ago on Instagram and it's just one of those amazing white summer dresses. I mean, we all love a summer dress, white summer dress, sorry, for holiday. And there's something about getting a couple of dresses that you don't wear here that you just save for holiday. And for me, this is definitely one of those. The detail you can see with the scalloped um, ties, it just makes it feel really luxe and really expensive. And we all know white dresses look so much better with a tan. So I just want to shout out to Zazan. You saw we did an event with them a couple of weeks ago. And it's not a brand that I've often shopped at a lot before. I just, I don't really know why. And now I can't believe I haven't been a Suzanne girl for so long. It's just the quality, the cut, the designs. It's that French girl vibe that I really, really love. And it's just gotten a great selection this season. I'm loving their summer collection. So I wanted to shout out to this dress, um, which is really, really gorgeous and I've loved wearing. So in keeping line with the fact that I'm obsessed with dresses and it's all I wear, I wanted to share with you another brand that I always go to when it comes to dresses and that's And Other Stories. They're the same group as H&M, so it's got that kind of Scandi type vibe and I feel like their selection every summer and every season to be honest with you is really, really incredible. There's always something whether you want short or midi or long, whether you want puffy sleeves or straps, whatever, there's always something to be found. Um, and I shot this dress a couple of weeks ago on Instagram. I wore it with a denim jacket because it wasn't 9,000 degrees outside. Um, and it's one of those just throw on easy to wear dresses. It's this ditzy floral print. 
It's got this lovely button detail and a really full floaty skirt. So you kind of waft about in it and I find that really fun. Um, so I wore it with a denim jacket. I actually think I could would style it with a white t-shirt underneath it as well, if it is a bit cooler. But it's just like I've been wearing it when it's warm and I just want to wear something cool. It's cotton, it's thin and it's just been really, really easy. Um, so I wanted to just share with you this dress because I think it's a really useful buy. And actually, I had a lot of comments on Instagram about it and people kind of asking about sizes and just really loving it. So I thought I'm gonna include it because you guys seem to really like it. This is a size eight. Um, I do find with Anna's stories, they are generous. This is definitely quite roomy up top. So I would definitely size down um, if you're unsure or go for one size smaller as a rule. So next I want to talk to you about some shoes that I'm really loving at the moment. Um, they're a high street number and they are from Office. So it's these black pair with the shells, which are really, really lovely. I'm having a thing with shells at the moment. I think me and the whole rest of the population, I didn't know if it was gonna be a trend that was gonna follow through to this summer because it was so big last summer and it really has. Um, so I saw these on Office and I just thought they were really lovely and I love that they've got this gold shell detail rather than the kind of just shell coloured shell detail. They've got the tie around the ankle and I quite like having a black sandal in my wardrobe because sometimes when you wear a lot of white and pale colours you do want to toughen it up a bit and I feel like this is a really good way to do it. Um, I love the toe detail, something about like a sandal with a toe that just makes it feel quite cool, um, so that, I'm loving that. And they're just super comfy, true to size. I'm wearing a 39, but I'm actually yet to wear them, which is, I know it's naughty because I said I was trying things out first, but I only just got them, but I'm loving them and I've wanted to wear them so many ways. So I thought I'd share them with you and obviously you'll see them coming up on Instagram and the blog. So they're from Office and I hope you guys like them. So continue with my love affair with shells. Um, I want to talk to you about these earrings. We have shot these recently on the blog and they're from Dana Levy, who is another smaller brand, but we've loved for years and years. She does incredible personalized little uh, bracelets with, you have with your kid's name on or your name on. She does amazing kind of loads of beachy summer holiday jewelry. And she's always my go-to brand. When I'm going on holiday, I just love, she has cute bracelets that say like vitamin C and you can stack them and dress them all around because at home, I do often just wear what I wear. Whereas on holiday, I like to be a bit more adventurous. Um, so stacking some bracelets and just maybe layering some necklaces, just more of that kind of like beady type of vibe. Um, but she has, like I said, this incredible shell collection. Um, and these ones are, I think the new version, I had a different pair last summer with a gold shell, whereas these ones are the new collection. They're really, really comfy. I've worn them loads. I do like also in summer wearing kind of more statement earrings in the day as well. I don't really do that in winter. Um, but these are a really, really easy way to do it because they're not too heavy. I sometimes find my earlobes, and I know Philip will vouch for me, they literally fall off. I can't wear earrings for a long time. Whereas these are super light and they're not too big. They don't get caught in your hair. And they're just, they're a really great nod to the trend without being too out there. The price point is 54 pounds. So it's not cheap, but it's not crazy, crazy prices. And it, like we said, it is something you're gonna have season after season. You're always gonna take them on holiday with you, pop them on of an evening out in summer. Um, so these are my new favorite earrings and I'm really, really enjoying them. And I just love being a bit more fun in the summer and just sometimes wearing some things that I don't always wear. So guys, thank you so much for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am gonna try and do these monthly. I know Philip and I started to do like the odd month here and the odd month there, but I do feel like there's often so many things to share. So I just thought I'm gonna get the ball rolling in the first month obviously July, um, and show you some of my favourites. So please let me know your feedback below. It would be great to hear if you guys are enjoying this type of content or even any other suggestions that you'd like to see. Um, but thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you on board with us. See you next Sunday evening at 7.30.